Let's do that. We're gonna add some functionality into Jarvis. So first thing we're gonna do is let's have him start opening some files. Easiest thing to do to start with is we're going to go up here to imports. We're gonna import a file called OS. This is operating system. This is in the Python standard library, so you don't have to pip install anything. This is actually installed into Python already. Once we have this, we'll go into our conversation flow, things we want him to do. And basically we'll have him start opening some files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple lines into this, and then I'll show you what, what I added, and we'll talk about how it works. I added a few extra lines. One's a music file, one is a video file. The way this works is you simply call OS, so operating system dot start file, and you put in location of the file in your system, then a speaker response, and then it's going to break just so it doesn't continue listening while the music's playing, the video's playing. Run them. Jarvis, show me a video. Here you go. What do you think of your code? I will simply just agree with you, sir, to save time. But to be honest, Jarvis, play Scarlet Fire. Feeling funky today, I see. <laughs> And those are some examples of opening some basic files. You can just use the OS system. When you're using OS not start file for program, Jarvis will open that program and he's gonna wait until you do whatever you're gonna do with that program and then you close that one and then he's going to continue on his next thing, which would be continue listening, doing that break, doing this loop, whatever you have programmed. So for that, you wanna have what's called a sub-process. You wanna have two processes going on at the same time. I'm going to import one more thing. I'm really going to import subprocess. This runs the code in a different process. If you were to open a program like Word, it doesn't have to wait until you close Word and do the next line of code in Jarvis's code. Some little tricks to do for your desktop here is if you were to open man prompt, man line, windows. There are things where if you were to type in cal the calculator, I'll open the calculator for you. You would type in ask. Task manager, it will open your task manager. Oops. Explorer opens up file explorer. For simple things like that, you can actually just use. You want to open the calculator. process dot it's called P open or pop it open yeah, pop open and then you can call whatever you want to call so if it's an actual something from command prompt shortcut that helps you can just get that in there Speak something Open. 
in the same thing. We have them break. This works, but what happens is if the calculator doesn't open, this goes through and crashes. Crashes everything after. A lot of times on this crash you want to take the extra time to throw in by Continues on fast, and then after everything, it'll break. Run this. Jarvis, open the calculator. Calculator open, sir. And there you go. This is a program from a 3D printer, Akira. This is the location. You want to find the exe file. Literally, the easiest way to do this is to the start menu. Any of these you want to use. 3D printer. Use Akira. I'm going to right click. More. Now open the file location. Show me the shortcut. Hit this. I should open file location again. This will take you to the folder where that is at. Down here in the bottom, highlighted. This is the exe application. You can literally either the properties. You want this, and you want the name. That's going to be here. Or you go up to the top of here. When you click up here, it's going to show you the folder location. Same thing. We just add Ultimaker Pura EXE at the end. And there's your file. Jarvis. Start the printer. Preparing the printer, sir. And it opened up. This is Kira. This is for 3D printing, 3D models. We're going to let Jarvis loose into the wild world of the internet. But to do this, we're going to import the whole web. Python function that lets us access websites. Now we're going to make it easier to find a function called oh, website. I'm going to get a URL, website address. You need specific conditions in this one. We're gonna open whatever URL is passed. And that's it. So now we go into our conversation flow commands for him. We can create a new one. Very simple. Command is open my favorite YouTube channel. It says this is also my favorite. And he goes to this website. First, open my favorite YouTube channel. This is also my favorite, sir. And 
And there you go. You can also say Jarvis. Play some background music. Here you go, sir. He's gonna open this in a new tab. I'm gonna play an ad here in a second, apparently. Stop that. Then also, if you have any online spreadsheets, any online word apps, anything you use for work, working on anything, Jarvis, update the spreadsheet. Plan on getting some work done, I see. And he opens up, taking right to that website. This is a spreadsheet I use called Airtable. Some of my video project ideas and like brain dump area. I'm gonna fast forward typing. I don't think everyone wants to see that. But what we're gonna do is just take everything that we talked about, combine it into one single function, and we can call this whenever we want to. I'm gonna call this one daily. And so once it's all done, here's a brief demo. Jarvis, wake up. Welcome back, sir. Your latest video seems to be doing well, sir. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every, with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime so